Maya. I'm a fourth year computer science major and um, a math minor. So my favorite subject throughout school, like ever since elementary school, was always math. I wanted to do something, um, I didn't really want to major in math because I wanted to do something that was a little bit more applicable. I know math can get really like abstract really quickly and for me that was just not like something I was very interested in. But um, when I started taking computer science classes, I really wanted to go back and take math classes and Doing a math minor at UCSD is really, um, you, you can take, it's really open. You can take any seven classes that you want. You can even take them all pass, no pass. And so I was like, yeah, I really want to do this because then I can go back and take classes for things that I really like. Yeah, so as I started taking more and more CS classes, I learned that there was a lot more math involved, like CSC 20, CSC 105, like all the theory-based classes have a lot of math involved. And I wanted to, I really, really liked that math, the like proofs and like coming up with algorithms and proving things about them. And so I, I tried to pick math classes that kind of went in conjunction with my CS classes because there are a lot of things in CS that a lot of math concepts that we kind of use like as a black box and I really wanted to learn those concepts more in depth. So for example this past fall I took CSC 190 data mining class and it was really cool we used a lot of like matrix stuff and linear algebra and I had taken math 20F earlier a few years ago and I didn't remember any of it. I was like when I was in this class I didn't know what this would be used for. I don't know why I'm doing any of the things I'm doing, but I still needed that foundation in order to understand the data mining. And then in data mining, we used a lot of like, we used a lot of those like um, linear algebra as more of a black box. So we didn't really need to know why things were uh, worked the way they were or the underlying math behind them. But I really wanted to know like, why does this work this way? And so that's why this quarter I've when I saw that an upper division linear algebra class, uh, Math 102, was being offered, I decided, hey, I should take that. And now I'm learning more about the same, um, the same like functions and the same algorithms that we used as black boxes that we didn't learn about in data mining. Now I'm learning about them, and I'm like, oh, this is how this works. And so um, things like that. There are a lot of classes. I took a number theory class, and I'm taking a crypto a cryptography class right now, CSE 107, and I took like a, a number theory class, um, Math 104A, under the math department. So those went along um, side by side as well. So there are a lot of like math mathematical concepts that we use in CS that we don't really learn in depth. And I used my math minor to kind of uh, go more in depth with those things that I found really interesting. I, I spread out my math classes. Well, I didn't declare my minor until like the middle of my second year. And then that's when I started taking more math classes. I usually took like, I never took more than one math class per quarter. And that was, I was able to do that because you only need to take seven. And that was really cool because I could take a class, figure out whether I liked it, or if I was like taking a CS class and maybe I wanted to take like a corresponding math class, um, I could figure that out. I also had like, I talked to professors, been tutoring for and stuff, and they were really helpful in like helping me figure out what I might like. That also helps like if someone recommended you should take this class, then I could like plan that out um, as well. I had a four-year plan, like every quarter my four-year plan changed. Like <laughs> I, I did not stick to the four-year plan that I made freshman year. Every quarter, like something else would come up and I would try to rearrange my schedule. So um, it's really hard to plan all that out in advance. So just be prepared for like, <laughs> it's good to be prepared for like anything. <laughs> Before I came, um, before I became a CS major, I took like an intro to programming class, intro to Java class to see if I liked it. And I liked programming, but that's what, and I, that's what I thought CS always was. It was just programming, software engineering, you know, developing um, uh, software. Um, but as I took more and more classes, I learned that's not all it is. There's a lot more like theory and math involved. And that's a lot of stuff that I found really, really interesting without even realizing it when I entered the major. So now I understand that CS is really computer science, it's not just programming or software engineering. 
think my hardest class as a CS major was like, or my hardest year was sophomore year, especially when I took like 100 and 101. The biggest thing was I was taking a lot of classes with one of my friends and then we sort of went off course. Like we start, I started taking classes like a quarter before her and that really like shocked me because I didn't have any friends in my classes when I uh, was taking those classes and I learned that in order to be a CS major, in order to be successful, you really wanna make sure you have friends. And that's helpful because you can work on homework together, you can um, ask each other for help and it's really helpful to have people to talk to because CS is not something you can just like do by yourself. You, it's a lot more easier to solve problems when you have other people talking to you and having like really um, good discussions about. So um, when I when we first kind of went uh, when I first kind of went off track with my friend, it was a lot harder for me because I was trying to work by myself. And then I learned that I really need to make friends. So I would start talking to people that like who are fellow tutors or people that just sat next to me in class and I became friends with them. And that helped so much more because I was able to talk to people about problems and we could solve things together. So one of my favorite classes here was CSC 105, which is theory of computation, because you really get into like CS theory, which I thought was really cool and use a lot, a lot of math. I thought the class was really fun and um, I've tutored for it a lot just because I really like the material and I want to like go back and kind of like relive my 105 days. But yeah, if you're really into like math and writing proofs, like you'll love CSC 105. <laughs> After graduation, I'm, I have a job lined up for me, so I interned at Salesforce up in San Francisco last year, and it was a really fun experience, so when they offered me a job, I took it right away. For one, I wish that I knew about CS more as like an option for something to study. I never took any like programming classes in school, and I was never really exposed to it. I got a lot more exposure to it, obviously, in college, and I wish I had kind of known about that. That would have, I feel like I would have found um, what I liked earlier. Some advice I would give is, I know a lot of people come into like CS with the idea of like, I wanna get a job or, you know, like, this is like a really hot field and while I'm not saying that's a bad thing, like that's definitely what I did, I would definitely encourage students if you have the opportunity to take classes that you like just because you like them, that's definitely um, a really strong piece of advice I'd give you and you know, you never know, like it could be useful to what your like job is in the future and that's exactly what I did. I did a math minor mostly because I just liked math and then um, slowly I realized like, hey, I can use math with my CS degree and that's and that's been really awesome for me.